In today's video, we are going to show you the number one activity to do in the whole island of Phuket. Now, mind you, we did a lot of research, scoured every excursion website we could find. Look, Get Your Guide, Viator, and many private tour companies. We went through hundreds of reviews left by real people and really wanted to find one that is both affordable and intimate. We value customer service and wanted something that would blow our mind being first-timers. This place is amazing. We are going to see some of the epic nature that Thailand has to offer. Lagoons, giant cliffs, beaches, snorkeling activities, and canoeing. But it's not all about the destination. It's really about the entire experience. And it all starts in the morning at your hotel. Excursions in Phuket can get extremely crowded, especially at peak seasons. We did one the following day which was extremely crowded. Wait for our next episode for that. But this one was something we enjoyed because it was intimate with only about 20 people on board. And what was most amazing is our guide, Captain Jack Sparrow and his staff. Their interaction made it even more enjoyable. I'm very happy that this is happening. It's very exciting and I'm so happy to do this yeah. with you and Yara. I don't know, like... That's the best decision I've ever taken. These are the things that we have seen in videos and in YouTube. Now you get to experience it and see it first hand through your eyes. It's just amazing. It's magical. And what I'm glad about is that the weather is just fantastic today and it is allowing us to see this. I know that my cousin, she came here like a couple of weeks ago and they stayed in Phuket for a few days but unfortunately they missed out on a lot of these tours because of the weather, it was raining so much. In fact, it was supposed to rain this whole week as well. I don't know, like someone is looking up for us, like we're very lucky today, the weather is amazing. Yaru, are you enjoying it? I can't believe we're oh here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mommy gonna lie down. <laughs> We just finished Kong Island and we're now heading on to James Bond Island, where we're talking to me. It's probably going to take about 15 minutes of what that guy said, and then after that, we're now going to have lunch. So I'll just show you all about it. So we have arrived at the famous James Bond Island. So we're gonna stay here for 40 minutes, just roam around, see. And she has been screaming for an ice cream, so we'll see if we can get one. Actually, it's not that busy. I've seen. I mean, we've seen videos where like this whole place were just absolutely packed with people. Today, thankfully, not so much. The peak season is coming, so we got right yeah. before the peak season. Yeah, and also it helps that today is a Monday. I think that helps as well. The benefits of being a digital nomad. <laughs> I'm just 
so glad that we are enjoying this whole thing as a family. Yara is there with us. Like, you know, if it was you and me, it's good, but it's better with Yara. I know she won't remember most of the things, but it's for my memory and your memory. All right. I think it's time for us to go back to the boat. It's been 40 minutes, so let's go grab some lunch. The scores of things that we can buy, souvenirs, jewelry. Right, so just as we were saying the weather is great, it turned on us and it started to rain. So our last stop was, we just finished our lunch, our last stop was the beach, but I don't know what's going to happen now, let's see. Alright, so we are at Panji Island here in Thailand and this particular island is interesting because it's full of Muslim people. There are very few Muslim people here in, in Thailand and I wasn't aware of it. This whole place used to be absolutely floating but over time they have, you know, sort of gotten wooden like structures in here like this. And uh, yeah, so they actually dropped us off at this restaurant called Andaman restaurant and we just had lunch here. So really amazing. So I think the next stop is going to be a beach where we can swim and stuff. But I'm not quite sure if that will happen since it started raining. But we'll see. All right. So we have come here to a cave in the middle of nowhere. Apparently like you've got some limestones in here that basically look like ice cream cones. So that's why it's called ice cream cave. Let's go have a look. We finally arrived at the beach. Look at this place. All right, so I'm getting into the water for the first time. The whole place is absolutely chilled out, I'm loving it. And I made this little space for like people who come here, and the water is so warm, beautiful. Okay, you had tell me how, how was the day? It Can was I... a, such an amazing day, like we just absolutely loved like this whole tour. It was, it was done so well and our tour guide was amazing as well. And finishing it off over here in the water, like with nature, very, very nice. And now looking forward to the next adventure that's going to be tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.